Hi everyone, it's Kate from Foldline. I am back this week with Sewing Bee News. So, for those of you that are new to us, every week we scour out all the patterns featured in the show and share with you so that you guys can sew some of the amazing things that they have created. Um, obviously, the BBC are a bit lame and um, we're not allowed to share any images or anything from the show so unfortunately I can't show you the line drawings of what they were making but just take it from us we have definitely found either the pattern or as close as possible so um, we've got some great things to talk you through and I'm going to get cracking. So first um, challenge was the technical challenge where they had to make a um, mini skirt with two patch pockets on the front that had piping around them they were making them in a tweed, which I thought was quite a hard starting point because any of you guys, I'm sure, have sewn with like wool before, really does move around. Um, I thought they all did a really good job and you could see like things going wrong for them that I'm sure I've, you know, when you cut, cut the binding, the piping too short and oh, just, yeah, I felt quite stressed watching, <laughs> watching it. So I've got two really good patterns. I couldn't find a perfect match for this actually. So I've got two patterns which are really the perfect shape but you'd need to add on the patch pockets which is quite a simple kind of tweak. So the first one is an indie pattern. It's the Workshop Hannah Skirt. This comes in sizes um, 6 to 16. Um, the thing about this shape and the one on the sewing bee was that there was no waistband so it just had darts. Um, and it had a facing and this one was really perfect. This this skirt is actually quite short so we thought about having another option and the other pattern that we thought would work really well is the McCall's 8068. Um, this goes from sizes um, 6, no sorry, 4 to 24. Um, this one comes a little bit longer, sits a bit longer um, but again it doesn't have the waistband and it's got the facing so and the darts so you just would need to add the patch pockets and if you actually this one comes with an option to make it long so you could kind of in a way this one's probably a better purchase because you can make lots of different shapes with it so those were the technical challenge we don't ever find the patterns for the upcycling round because let's be honest if you've watched it um it's pretty crazy what they're sewing so, um, and the final one was wrap dresses. The final challenge was wrap dresses. Um, the whole concept behind this episode was capsule wardrobe. Um, so <laughs> it was quite an interesting, a mini skirt and a wrap dress constitutes in the sewing BIs, a capsule wardrobe, <laughs> which is quite bizarre. Anyway, I digress. Um, so, I am going to talk you through all of the patterns. There were, um, there, so there are 10 people on the show. There were two lots of people who I think, we think use the same pattern. Um, and I'm gonna get started with two people that use the same pattern. So Annie and Christian, I think used the same base. Um, both of them had this sort of sloping um, wrap feature at the front. Um, Annie's had sleeves and Christian's didn't but I think he used this as a hack because um, it had that beautiful flounce on it. So the pattern that I think they used was the Butterick 6554 um, and when I show you the line drawing you'll be able to see there are a lot of different tweaks that you can do with this and I'm pretty sure that he did use this. Um, it's a really lovely pattern actually and one I think you could get quite a lot of wear out of. It's got raglan sleeves, it's got this beautiful kind of flutter option of a sleeve and then there's obviously a stra strappy version um, with loads of ruffles going on. So that's a really nice summer pattern and it's been really popular as well. Next up we have got um, Brogan's beautiful, beautiful um, ruffly um, wrap dress. She made it in a gingham. I thought it was really beautifully made. Um, it was gorgeous. So the pattern that she used, and I'm pretty sure this one's spot on, is the Bella Loves floor dress. Um, I'll show you the line drawing. You can see it had 
The big thing about her one is it had these beautiful ruffles that went down the bodice and this pattern has them. It's got a tie at the side. Um, you can make it in a top version as well, this pattern, which is really great. It comes in sizes 6 to 20. Um, it's just a really gorgeous pattern. I love it. And as soon as I saw what she was, we saw what she was making, we were like, where's, where is the wrap dress with the ruffle? Um, and Rachel actually managed to find it. So next up, we have got Chi Chi's pattern. Um, this one I found, well, we found really hard to find because I think she hacked the pattern. So the front of the wrap dress was really kind of, um, quite a classic wrap with a flouncy sleeve. Um, it had a curved hem at the bottom. The thing that was interesting about it is at the back, it had this beautiful cut cutout detail. Um, and she must have hacked it because we looked high and low, but I've got an option. We've got an option of two different patterns, which you could do the, you know, you could use a bit of one to hack it um, if you wanted to recreate it. So the front of the dress, we thought the Vogue 1734 was absolutely perfect. It had the flounce, it had the wrap, it had the curved hem. Um, I mean, I think this one was almost perfect. Um, if you wanted the back, we thought that the Untitled Thoughts Amelie dress was really similar. Um, I'll show you a picture of it. You can see it's got the waistband, which hers had at the back. She put like a proper waistband on and then this lovely cutout detail. So if you bought those two, I think you could do a kind of a mashup of the two and end up with the perfect pattern. Next up, we had Deborah's, and hers was like a faux wrap. Um, it was really beautiful, actually. It was really kind of simple and elegant. Um, so hers was, and this one is definitely right because we caught a little snip of the of her cutting something out and we saw the writing on the pattern. So this is the Nora faux wrap dress from Serendipity Studio. Um, this comes in sizes extra small to extra extra large. Um, you can go and have a look at the sizing of that one. Um, I, yeah, so this one is bang on. It's a really nice pattern actually and I like the idea of having a kind of fake a kind of a fake wrap because I personally find when I wear wrap dresses quite often they end up like coming apart um, so this one that is not definitely not going to happen so next up we had Jill's um, Jill's was really lovely again another really simple um, pattern but the fit she'd got the fit kind of perfect on it it was really beautiful so the pattern that we thought she used was the Tessa Rusa Vija wrap dress um, this comes in sizes 6 to 24 um, really absolute classic shape um, it had it's got darts above the um, above the waist and below the day, waist and it's also got darts at the back of the dress you can have it plain long sleeved or you can have it with a shorter flutter sleeve um, yeah we thought this one was pretty bang on um, next up we had Manny's dress which was amazing with this sort of beautiful organza with big puff sleeves and it had like a little simple wrap underneath well like sorry a simple slip underneath we thought that it was and see what you guys think we thought it was the by hand london hannah wrap dress that she'd sort of hacked because the sleeves had this massive poof and there aren't any patterns that we could find that had that and uh, but the rest of the dress really looked like the by hand london one so I think we think that's right but if you've got suggestions and actually if you've got suggestions for any of the patterns that we've mentioned that you think we got wrong let us know down below because it's a team effort to try and find them all <laughs> so next up we've got Marnie's and we think that she did and this is a vintage one it's a vintage a Vogue 9313 so this one isn't in print anymore but Quite often you can find them second hand. Um, we thought this was right. The, th the main thing about hers was that it had this kind of quite um, 
like almost like a binding around the neckline. I'm pretty sure that this Vogue one is spot on. So I'll pop a picture up and you can, I know you can find them on eBay and stuff. So you can definitely get this if you, if you feel like you can't live without it. So next up we've got Richie. He made the, um, and again, the, this one Rachel found and I think is definitely right. It's the Asuka robe dress or Asaka. Oh, Asaka, As I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry, it's appalling. Robe dress from Named Clothing. Um, when I show you the picture of this, you'll see the thing that was a really big detail in his is it had these slits in the sleeve and they had quite a big sort of wide sleeve. Um, it almost looked like a dressing gown mixed in with a dress and so as soon as we saw it Rachel was like it's definitely this one and I'm pretty sure it is so it's such a beautiful pattern it's actually one of names kind of original I think it was probably their first collection so it's been around a while but it's a classic shape I actually think this should be made as a dressing gown how amazing would it be you'd feel quite fabulous floating around your house drinking your tea with the kind of big sleeves with the slits up um yeah it's pretty good um, next up we have got Mitch and Steve we think that they use the same pattern in fact we're pretty sure that they did um, so the, it's the Simplicity S9224 um, it's really interesting isn't it when you see people who have used the same pattern but the dresses look so different I think it's really nice it's it's well as we all know as making dresses you can you know it's interesting seeing using different fabrication and how different it can look but yeah this is a Mimi G1 for simplicity it's actually a really lovely pattern it's really nice and simple I like it's got this kind of asymmetric hemline and um, this kind of big wrap kind of wide sleeves with a turn up um, and I think by the looks of it it's hard to tell I don't know if it's almost like a fake wrap no actually I don't think it is I thought it had like it was sewn into a channel maybe it is it's quite hard to tell from this actually um, but in terms of the shape we were pretty pretty set that this was right so last but not least we have got Angela and we are pretty sure that she used the McCall 7892. Um, this had quite a big sort of statement um, waistband and a kind of wider skirt. And so I'm pretty sure that this one is, is right. Um, it's a really lovely pattern actually, and you can make it in a top um, and different variations of top. So there's quite a lot going on in this pattern. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope we got them right. And if you have any thoughts of any of the patterns or you think, guys, you've totally got that wrong, it's this one, do let us know because it's nice to, it's nice to find them. And yes, we will be back next week with more sewing piece stuff. Um, and yeah, have a lovely week. Bye. <laughs>